Hey guys, Tyler from Merlin Man Gaming here. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's uh, it's going to be a review of the Retron 5. It's something I picked up mid this year and I've been wanting to talk about it, but my HogPog capture card has been flaky at best to try and capture, so it's been really impossible. And I didn't want to hold up my laptop like I did with the unboxing of the Retro Engine Sigma. Uh, so, yeah. Without, without a doubt, here we go. So you can tell it's a Retron 5. Uh, first thing I wanted to kind of show off is you can play, so you know you can play the Japanese Famicom, which is the NES, the NES, Super Nintendo, and this the Japanese equivalent, Super Famicom, because I've got a Super Famicom cartridge, Final Fantasy V, which never came over here on the Super Nintendo. And you've also got the Genesis slash Mega Drive, the European and Japanese version. And you also have Game Boy slot. So you gave, huh, excuse me, original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. Which is great. So I'm just going to get into it here. Like what happens is it dumps the ROM. Which, yeah, I know you got to get, it's it's an emulation machine so I've already just loaded up a file just to make things go but the thing is I've you can uh, with Japanese games you can pull up translation patches because you have a micro SD card slot in the back or an SD card slot so I've done that so I have the patch so I can play Final Fantasy V the hard version because I had the GBA port is how I played through and finished five. I'm not really played through this was the file on there. It's nice. Maybe one day I'll complete through it or get as far as I can in the stream. I'm gonna go back to the home menu because I'm stuck in here but like when you pause you can do uh, save states, load a state, you can do filter, uh, to change things, you've got the scale slot, you can take screenshot, turn the volume down, reset, or you can go to the main menu. Uh, one thing, I, I, I'm loving this console overall so far. The only slot I have yet to test on mine is the, the Famicom slot, because I do not have a Famicom game. And I'm not going to buy one at the moment. But, yeah. The one thing I really don't like, it comes with a wireless controller. A Bluetooth wireless controller. Um, you can't see it. But. I'm just going to turn the, my camera on here for a second to bring it close to you. reason I turned the camera on just sh slightly just so you can see what the Retron controller looks like. You don't get a d-pad, you get a thumbstick thing. It's not very good, but you get a home button and like turbo buttons. You get four face buttons plus your start select, an L and R. Not very good controller, but you still need it because of the home button. The great feature of the Retron 5 though is that is it allows you to use any controllers you want from the original consoles. I bought a Super Nintendo controller by Circa. Great. It's like, I think, six feet length, and it cost me like $12. Well worth it. Like, I can use my Genesis controllers I have, because I actually have a Genesis. You could get a yes controller. You have two, so uh, two controller ports for each console in there. So now... I know one of the negative things was in this is it can't play everything. <laughs> one of these games that I'm about to put in here now, so excuse me for a second here.
Okay, I guess my Genesis slot. Interesting, over since the time I moved and stopped working. Try one more time with just a single card. Ah, that's new to me. That oh, there we go. It's now starting to load. Sonic Knuckles. Let's try this again. So I believe. May need to clean the card, but it will let you play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. The original Retron 5 without any firmware updates wouldn't let you, if I'm mistaken. But yeah. You can't have multiple cartridges in different slots. Like, you can't have a Genesis card and then put a Super Nintendo cartridge in. It'll stop it, it won't let you. You play, and if you take the cartridge out, you can't play the game. It's their uh, method for combating piracy, which is interesting. Um, overall, I really like the system. If you've got the cartridges of the original games, it's definitely, definitely worth picking up if you've got a huge cartridge life and you want to play it into an HDTV. It's definitely worth it in my opinion. And since I've never put this card in here, it's doing an initial save import. It saves the data of the cart to the system memory or SD card in my case. So let's see. It may just take a second because I'm gonna this game then. Oh, there we go. Golden Sun. An RPG I really do enjoy. I think you'll definitely see a playthrough come coming through. As you can see, it plays fine. It's in my menu. I'm not gonna show you too much of the game. However, I just wanted to let you kind of see. I highly recommend this system. It's great for those who have tons of cartridges. Even if you were not f fully into it and you want to start getting into this, I think this is much better than owning all five systems and then trying to get them to your HDTV because you're not going to be able to get a non-HDTV nowadays and then always having to have converters plugged in and some of them are better than others that don't give you lag or less of a lag overall if I had to rate this I would say this is definitely if you've got old cartridges it's a must buy if you're interested in collecting retro I think it's a, my opinion a must buy and I would if I had to give a score rating out of 10 I would give it an 8 because there is some compatibility issues the home control their controllers garbage because you need that for the home button to do the home menu instead of having a because I don't want to have to always walk up and power over off the console but I don't want to have to use this controller I use my circuit controller yeah. I think that's enough rambling it's been Tyler from Berlin Man Gaming signing off